Welcome back, kids. I sure hope last time we were together, you enjoyed doing that monarch butterfly. I know I did because remember, that's one of my favorite butterflies. And here we are still in spring. And another nice thing that you would see when you're walking around outside is buds coming out on the trees and flowers starting to sprout up out of the gardens. You know, it's just a happy time after a long winter. I think maybe this time, what do you say we try to draw some flowers? You know, flowers are relatively complicated, but there's some pretty easy flowers to draw out there. And I think that we should maybe go over to my easel and I'll show you how to draw, well, you know what? Maybe three different kinds of flowers, but they all kind of look the same. It's the sign of spring and everything's coming up out of the ground. And one of the nicest flowers that are out there is called a daisy. And you know what? We can go right back to some of the lessons we've had and start working with circles again. Everything revolves around a circle. Circles are really happy, okay? So why don't we try our first little daisy? And we'll put the daisy right in the middle and we're gonna start by drawing a circle, okay? Now that circle is the center of the flower. It's also called the head, okay? Remember we did the caterpillar and we did the circle and that was his head? Well, this is the head of the flower, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do on this is called petals, all right? All different flowers have different shapes and sizes of petals. The daisy has long petals, kind of goes up like this and loops back down around like that, right towards that head, okay? So what we can do with this so we can get everything equaled out is we'll do one on the bottom too, okay? So let's do one down here. And you know what? These don't all have to be the same size, okay? They're not all perfect. Whatever you do is going to be fine and it's going to look great when we're done, okay? So let's go off to the side here and do one here. All right, and then we'll do one here so everything is even, okay? Now, the easiest way to fill all this in is with that same shape. And we're going to do, maybe we'll do two here, three here. You know what? It all depends on what you're comfortable with and what you want because this is your flower that you're drawing. There's no wrong or right to this, and I'm going to show you that too because I'm gonna make sure that I don't draw this perfect so you can see that even then it's gonna turn out really nice, okay? So in this space here, why don't we do two? Just like that, just like that, okay? Down here, I might happen to do a big one and oh, look at that, I ran out of room, so I'm just going to kind of come in like that, okay? I'm going to come up here, one like that. Maybe I'll do a little skinny one in here, okay? Nothing has to be perfect, just flowers, okay? The wind might be blowing, it doesn't really matter. All you know is your petals are in there. And as long as they're there, everything is good, okay? So there we're going to do two in here, too. And there's our daisy. All right? So up here, what, what, you know what? We're going to do three different flowers, but they're all going to look pretty much the same until we color them, okay? So we're going to call this one our daisy, all right? So then we're going to come over here. And we're going to do our circle again, all right? But you know what? You see, I'm getting pretty close to my daisy, and you're saying, Santa, you're not going to be able to get that petal in there. But I will. You just watch, okay? So we're going to do this the same way again, okay? Same thing. There we go. But you know, we're gonna come over into here now 
we're going to stop. So we have this one in here, and you notice that it's just tucked in behind that daisy. Okay, and let's do the same thing here as we did before. All right. And yet, like I said, you just, you put these in however you want. Nothing has to be exact. Oh, stop there though, because we want to put all these petals in behind that daisy. And we'll come up here and maybe do a little skinny one in there. Because like I said, nothing has to be perfect on this, okay? Let's do a third one. And we'll come right over here and do almost the exact same thing on the other side. All right, so we're going to go up like this. We'll go down here. There you go. We're going to stop so it's all in behind. We're going to do our little petals in here. Look at that one. Look at that little wee petal right there. Like I said, there we go. There. So, what holds our flowers up? Something called a stem. So I'm gonna put my black marker down and I'm gonna grab my green one because leaves and stems and everything like that on these flowers, they're all green, okay? So, the stem is actually attached to the back of the head of this petal. So we're going to pretend we started here, and we're going to come down behind, but we're actually only going to see the stem when it comes down here, aren't we? Now, there's a couple different ways you can do this. If you want to come straight down, that's fine too. What I'm going to do though, is I'm just going to come down like this. But it doesn't matter. If you want to come straight down like this one, if it's easier for you, you just go ahead, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing over here. There we go. So the first flower we did was the daisy. And you know, the center of a daisy is yellow. So I'm gonna take my yellow marker and I'm just gonna color in the center of this thing. Okay, there we go. And you can color this in solid. You know, you can leave little bits of white showing, whatever you wanna do, okay? You know, daisies, a lot of them are white. So I think we're just going to leave the petals alone on that one, okay? Now, the black-eyed Susan, it has a dark center. So we're going to color the center all in dark like this. Okay. There we go. And it has yellow petals. I think we'll take this yellow and we're going to color all the petals in, okay? There we go. There we go, getting all those petals colored. You color them in the best you can, okay? Like I've said many times before, there is no right or wrong way as long as you're happy with it. There we go. There's our black-eyed Susan. Now, this one over here, we're gonna call our cone flower, okay? And it's kind of a dark center. So we'll do our dark center. Color it 
color that one in just like we did on the black eyed Susan. Okay, and they are usually a purple color. You know what? So we're going to take purple and we're going to color all these ones in, okay? You know, if you go outside the lines, it really doesn't matter. Try to stay inside, but you just do the best you can, okay? As long as you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. go we're getting there lots of petals isn't there so you know what kids well I'm well I'm coloring all this in if you need a little bit more time you know you can always pause the video until you get each one of these flowers done okay you don't have to keep going along at the pace that I go at. Right, Alfie? Isn't that right? I, I thought I told you to remind me to tell the kids that they don't have to just keep going as fast as I do. You can pause it, you know, anytime you want. And just take your time, because I want you to do the best job you can on this, okay? Because you'd be really happy with it at the end. All right? So there we have our three flowers, the daisy, the black-eyed Susan, and the cone flower, okay? Now, if you really wanted to add something to it, just to fill it in a little bit, just come up like this with your green marker, and you can put some leaves in there. See that? And just like everything else, you can overlap them. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. We've got a really nice bouquet here, don't we? And guess what, kids? What do flowers grow in? Flowers grow in the soil. So, you know, flowers... They need the soil to grow, but they also need two other things. They need the rain, and they need the sun, okay? Now, what do you say we spell the word flower? All right, how many letters do you think are in the word flower? Let's see, there's an F, L, O, W, E, R. So there's six letters in the word flower. So we're going to do six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's start with an F. As in flower. Okay. The second one is an L. The third letter, remember I'm always talking about drawing circles. There's your O, okay? And a W, oh, look at that. You know what I just noticed? That looks like a W. Doesn't that look like a W? Ho, 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 And right over top of the W. Now we're going to do an E. N and R. There. We have three flowers and the word flower. And remember, like I say every time, 
at the end of your drawing, always sign it, okay? There you go, there's our three flowers. <laughs> well, kids, you know, that means I've got to go build some toys. So I just want to remind you, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And just remember one thing, always be kind and always believe in yourself, okay? Be good. Till next time. Ho, 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 ho.